and welcome back. I am book lover Lorna. Got a bit of a different one today. One of the new books that I've read. Let's have a little chat about it, shall we? So one of my favourite authors is Jojo Moyes, which as I said before, I read Me Before You, bawled my eyes out, and I've been reading her ever since. So if I see that she's got a new book coming out, and I can get a signed edition, I'm there. I am pre-ordering six, nine months down the line, pointing into the distance by the way, just drama. Um, I order six to nine months in advance, forget that I've ordered it and then think, hmm, have I bought this or not? Check my emails, get super excited about it and hope that Waterstones will get it in stock the day before it is released so that I can run into town, pick it up and start reading it which is exactly what I did with this one, The Giver of Stars, which was released, I want to say two weeks ago? I want to say two weeks ago in the UK. Um, yeah, I reckon two weeks ago. So it's set in the 1930s in Kentucky and is about a group of women who run a mobile library. So they ride their horses and deliver books to the remote um, remote locations essentially where people didn't really come out, um, they don't really know how to read so supplying with them with these books from the mobile library um, allows them to learn a little bit, learn to read and write and obviously enjoy enjoy good books really. Um, I will not give any spoilers but I absolutely loved it. It took me a while to get into, I will say that. I was about halfway through and thinking, I don't really know what's going to happen, where this is going. All the drama kind of happened in the last hundred pages, all of the juicy parts. But I finished it thinking, oh, that was interesting. Um, which I think is kind of how you want to finish a book. Um, so I wasn't really a huge fan of Alice, who is like one of the main characters really. Um, there was a lot written about her, I just didn't really understand her or relate to her should relate to her really because she's from England although I'm English but I've not moved to Kentucky maybe if I did that we'd have something in common um I really did like Marjorie O'Hare though um who if you read the book she's kind of the troublemaker of the lot she's not really but in the 1930s she was classed as a troublemaker um I thought that she was such an interesting character and I really like how uh Jojo wrote about her so she 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 would be probably Probably my favourite character in the book. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. Um, just got more and more interesting as it went on. Like I say at the beginning, I wasn't too sure. I was thinking, it's not really doing it for me. But, to the end, I say yes. Okay, I get the story now. I get the point of it. It is quite, quite chunky, so... What are we on? 400 about 430 pages of glorious book reading which if you're going into the last 100 pages to get the juicy bits that is quite a lot of not much going on but it was entirely setting the scene for the end. I would definitely recommend giving this a read if not just because of the gorgeous cover and I don't know what this page is called in a book but I just think that's lovely. What a lovely welcoming page as soon as you open it. Uh, so I liked that. Also, there is her signature. Oh, the light is not doing us any favours. Can you see? There we go. Her signature is tiny. But it's there. It's tiny, teeny tiny. But it's there, so I can't complain too much. Um, so all in all, I'm going to say... Four stars for this one out of five. The Giver of Stars need to be needs to be rated in a star format, let's be honest. Uh, so we're giving this four stars. I definitely recommend that you read it, obviously because it's written by Jojo. And it's just quite an interesting one. Some of her, she doesn't, how many of hers are set in a different time period? Not all of them. The Girl You Left Behind was set in a different time period, which, or part of, parts of it were. I think, which I did quite enjoy. She does write very well um, in the ye olden times, 
<laughs> in ye olden times. What's wrong with me? Um, obviously, present time is quite good, but she, I do like how she writes in in uh, in the 1900s. So I would recommend it, but do persevere. If you find yourself thinking, I don't know what's going on. What is what we're we trying to achieve here? Keep going. Just trust me. And then the last 100 pages, you'll just devour it. You'll sit there until until it's all till it's all over. Yeah, so four out of five stars for The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Bye!